feel like there might be a couple of firsts here tonight, Aaron. Maybe the first TIE fight I can remember with two American fighters on the card? Yeah. Maybe the Go first TIE fight I can remember with two fighters that are 190 centimeters plus. Will Chope, the 30-year-old fighter fighting out of the United States of America, 192 centimeters tall. Weighed in at 77 kilograms, has a professional record of 43 fights, 30 wins, 11 losses. Probably his claim to fame was losing to Max Holloway in the UFC. 2014, or Yeah, 2014. Has an extensive background in mixed martial arts. Now we'll be practicing Muay Thai in here with that man. Yeah, his professional MMA record actually stands at 38 wins and 17 losses, so he's been around. And there you can see his opponent, Peng Lung, Sit Jai Saron. Old from Nakhon Sawak province in Thailand. In the 80s, sent to solve the professional record of 102 fights with 84 victories, 14 losses, and four draws. Former Isuzu Cup Super Fight Champion of 2015, Thai Fight Champion of 2015, Thai Fight Champion of 2019 as well. Currently ranked number one by the WMO at light heavyweight, which is around 175 pounds. So that's around 80 kilograms. So I'm getting lighter. Well, we're talking about weight. That's all weight. that training at Fairtex. Shout out to Fairtex and Patio where Tengnum is actually been training. He's been putting him through some stuff because he looks in tremendous shape. Well, we're talking about weight. Was Will Chope much smaller back then when yeah, he fought Max Holloway? Yeah, I remember when he first fought him. He was one fight, of course. Oh, 145. Okay. So I was going to say, like, I'm just imagining in my head yeah. Max Holloway and Ding Ding yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, no, yeah, everyone seems crazy. A dangerous opponent for anyone because of his height. Well, Ding Ding is a dangerous fighter for anyone because of that power he possesses in his left hand. His ninjas Will Chope was actually scheduled to fight at Fight Circle. Shout out to John Hood. Yeah, he was supposed to take on Bank and No Money in a two versus one fight. And okay, he would you rather <laughs> fight <laughs> Feng Neng in a 1v1, or would you rather fight against two men? I'd rather fight four versus one than fight so. Feng so Alright folks, summer fight of the evening, and again, Feng Neng took Dice the Rock from Thailand in the black corner. In the white corner. States of America will appeal to Joe. Round one. Oh, you see how tall he is? Yeah, 192 centimeters is maybe the tallest fighter we've seen here at High Fight. That's the trains in Hua Hin. He's been around Asia a long time ago as well. Thailand, and other places as well around Asia. Oh, there's oh, that left, left hand. hand. Lifted Chope right off his feet. Oh, low kick. Low kicks are hurting him. There's that left hand again and again. This could be the beginning of the end already. Takes a knee. He's trying to decide if he wants any more of that. Usually when fighters get that first taste of the left hand from, from Teng Neng, their lives goals sort of rearrange. Oh, oh body. Body. And down goes Chope once again. My player's gonna get up this time. Yeah, he's, he's shaking his head, he doesn't want any more of that. I don't blame him. Teng Neng the destroyer. Short but sweet. Tang Nung does it again here at Thai Fight. DMHTT at Omnoy Stadium at Siam Boxing Stadium. It's a much of fun. <laughs> Let's take a look at the highlights. Low kick from Tang Nung and that violent, that vicious, that left hand bomb that he possesses. Picking his shots. Finding the target. 
Will didn't really have time to throw anything in that exchange. That was the initial one where he fell to his knees. Will was trying to hold on, trying to stop. Peng Ling was doing anything but couldn't. That Peng Ling there was like a left hand into an elbow shot. ไม่ได้เสียเลยก็ได้นะฮะน้องเพิ่มหนึ่งก็ได้ชนะเราจะประกาศผลเลยกันฮะ The Winner is ตั้งหนึ่งสิทธิ์เจอสายรองสุดย